Hey guys, this is Drew from Coleman Collar Mobile Grooming. I want to do just a really quick tutorial on how to brush your doodle so that it doesn't get matted up. So this isn't applied to just doodles. It's any dog that has uh, longer hair that you want to keep long. Um, you need to brush them often. So we got Ladybird here. She's going to be helping me out and I'll show you guys how to brush your dog so that you don't have to go to the groomer and get the dreaded shave down. So before we get into it, let me show you the equipment that you do not need. You do not need a brush, okay? So a lot of owners, with all sincerity, they say, hey, I brush my dog every day, I don't understand why it's still matted, and that's because they're using a brush. And all a brush does is it kind of gets that top layer. This is a slicker brush, so when all the mats are out, as a groomer, I take this and fluff it up to make it look pretty to do the cut, but that doesn't really do much with matting. It may help with minimal matting, give or take. Uh, so all you need, really, really simple, is this comb. They're five bucks on Amazon. You can basically get them anywhere. And instead of just willy-nilly kind of brushing wherever you want, just pick a spot to start at, and you want to make sure the brush is all the way down to this, or sorry, the comb. <laughs> oh my goodness, I messed up comb, not brush. Uh, you want to make sure it's all the way down to the skin. You know, you don't want to jab it in there or hurt, or hurt your dog, but you just want to make sure it's at the skin and bring the brush through. And if there's no mats, this is how easy it should be to go through. So I haven't brushed Ladybird in maybe two days. So um, you'll see some spots that are more difficult to get through, but she doesn't have any matting, but she definitely has a, some little mats at start. So uh, you want to brush your dog every single day. If you do that every day, it will literally take you 10 minutes to get through an entire doodle, Portuguese water dog, any type of dog that you have for the most part, um, within reason. So you want to pick a spot. So I'll start from the neck down and I'll start at the neck and just bring that brush through. So it's pretty smooth, but you see how it's catching a little bit there. That means a mat is going to be formed here if we don't get on top of it. So luckily it's not too painful for her because it hasn't started matting up. It's just got some tangles in there and we're just gonna bring that down. So bring it all the way down, all the way down. Bring it to the front of the leg. So the feet are a key place that you're gonna see a ton of mats around this area because a lot of people don't brush that area. So as you can tell, Ladybird doesn't love getting brushed out, but she's gonna love it a lot more than having to get shaved down or have to do any dematting. Uh, we really kind of don't really do much dematting anymore um, because it's unbelievably painful on the dog. Um, that's the main reason we don't do that. Uh, so we just say, hey, we'll teach you how to do it and let's start over and start from scratch and then get a beautiful coat. It will grow back um, because you don't want to be sitting there for two and a half hours doing a really painful process on a dog just because you want its fur to look pretty. So um, we really encourage our owners. I usually have extra combs like this that I just give to doodle owners that are on a schedule with us and I uh, show them how to brush properly. So you want to start in the area, work your way down. If you get to a spot, like let's say the foot that start, you're seeing it catch a little bit and you're not able to get it through, you know, within reason. If Ladybird, I can tell if she's uncomfortable if I can tell that, what I'll do is I'll start at the top of the hair and I'll work my way down so you can kind of get the mat out slowly without being too painful. So as you can see, she doesn't have very many mats in here. There's some tangles, which she doesn't love, um, but it's better than getting that matted up. So start there, work your way down, get to the bottom, and then you want to work around the whole body. So you'll do all the legs, yada, yada. So uh, the main key places that you'll want to make sure to check because they mat up really easy is under the ears, uh, around the mouth, um, under the armpit area. So that part is kind of hard to get to because you don't really see it, but it's a really important spot. Um, and around the bum area. So basically anywhere that you there's friction, uh, where your dog's walking, laying down, those are, are key places. But you want to do the whole body, but those are some key areas to get. So one of the places that dogs hate getting brushed, but you need to get them in the habit of it, is around the face. So Ladybird does not like her face being touched very much. Uh, so I'll just hold under her chin right here, real gentle, not hard. 
Uh, you don't want to tug, you just want to make it so that she can't move her head too much. And you start on the outside and work your way down. See, and it should go through it like butter, just like that. So when I know I'm done is whenever the comb goes all the way through, super easy. Um, so I'll show you a spot that is difficult to get through and you'll know a mat is starting versus a spot that you can tell has no mats. So if you see hair starting to clump up like this, that means there's some tangles in there and that could very easily within a few days turn into a mat. So whenever you're going down the leg, if it's catching at all, remember that means there's a tangle in there and it's not super bad right now. So we'll just start at the top. We'll start at the top of that tangle, just like that. And we'll work our way down. See, now it goes through like butter. So let's take this area. Oh, there's a tangle right there. Start at the top, work our way down. So that means there's no mats all the way down to the skin. So this is what it should look like if there's no mats. You can just comb down easily. See how easy that goes through? And this is what it looks like if there's some tangles in there. When you try to bring it down, it kind of stops. That means there's a tangle. So then you just bring it down. There you go. So thanks for tuning in. Hopefully that helped. I'll maybe do a few follow-up videos with some other tips on that. But all right, have a good day.